From Tampa Bay's number one news station, this is the Fox 13 4 o'clock news. Now this is pretty cool. It's made right here in Tampa Bay. We're going to take you to a place called Rod Iron Arts next. Made in Tampa Bay and in today's edition of it, we're taking you to a place called Wrought Iron Arts, Wrought Iron Arts, where they turn everyday items into metal masterpieces. I think that's fantastic. As Fox 13's photojournalist Barry Wong shows us, it's for all ages. Most of the forging temperature is around 22, 2300 degrees. Forging is when you, you heat up the metal. I'm Rob, this is Wrought Iron Arts. This is a blacksmith school in Largo, Florida. We teach you how to make uh, blades of knives, swords, daggers, battle axes, some sort of weapon of minor destruction. This is the place to come. Remember, you want to turn 90 degrees and start compressing that side a little bit now. We will teach you how to forge it from the beginning to the end. We're mechanically working the metal. We're going to do overlapping strikes where the heat is. I'm just working my way down. I guess my philosophy of teaching is, is first of all, it's small classes. I demonstrate some, how to do something usually once, maybe twice, depending on how fast the student picks it up. When your blacksmith tells you to hit the daylight out, he's to say, look for the daylight between your piece and the anvil. So the daylight being right there. So to hit the daylight out, that doesn't mean just hit the crap out of it right over the top. That means start behind, less is more with this, and just chase it through. Once I demonstrate it, I let them attempt it. And then they go and I, I improve their technique or improve the way they're tackling the task I gave them how to do. Classically, what the blacksmith would do would be actually take whatever metal he had on hand and transform it into something else. For the most part, we take old branches, old crowbars, old files, old railroad spikes. Watch when your hammer embeds into the metal, you'll know. If it looks smooth, then you're doing it right. I want them to learn how to do it. I mean, yes, they get the trophy. So I made us a, a dagger or a sword or a knife, but learning how to do it. Basically, we're, you know, promoting the lost art of blacksmithing and bladesmithing and all of that. Art form of making knives goes back thousands of years. When you see the gleam in a person's eye, when they're just, they're starting to get it. Okay, good job. That's the satisfaction I get. That's why I do this. They're definitely ready. Hi, guys. Thanks for stopping by. This is Rod Iron Arts, and all this is made in Tampa Bay. That would be such a feeling of power to go there and make a sword or a machete or something, right? If you know of a business that makes creative things right here in Tampa Bay, we'd love to know about them. Maybe we could feature them in that segment there. Contact us and let us know.